Fox News alert, the federal judge in the Michael Flynn case delaying a decision on whether to drop his charges of DOJ's request. Judge Emmett Sullivan, 72 years old, now allowing outside groups to weigh in, including former Watergate prosecutors who reportedly filed a brief against Flynn. Here discussing former U.S. attorney for, uh, for Utah, Brett Tolman. Brett, your take on the judge's move. I thought I've seen everything in you know 20 plus years in the federal criminal justice system, but this is a first. I, I mean, this is. There is circumstantial evidence of collusion. There is more than circumstantial evidence. Well, I think there is direct evidence. There is evidence that is not circumstantial. There is abundant evidence of collusion. Yes, there is ample evidence of collusion in plain sight. According to these transcripts, he's been hiding all this time. Ship was hearing the exact opposite. Just released interview transcripts embarrassing the ship because look at this. The former DNI under President Obama, James Clapper, quote, I never saw any direct empirical evidence that the Trump campaign or someone in it was plotting, conspiring with the Russians. 2017, Samantha Power testified she was not in possession of any of the evidence. Susan Rice said there was no smoking evidence. Yates herself concluded no con collusion at all. They would leave the closed door session, go on TV, and say something completely different. The whole thing was orchestrated and set up within the FBI, Clapper, Brennan, and in the Oval Office so meeting that day with President Obama. This is a massive cover-up of the greatest scandal in American history. The meme factory is no longer on lockdown. That's right, we're following Elon Musk's lead, Tesla's lead, and we're reopening. We're back in business. We're back in business. No more unemployment checks. We're going back to the meme factory. Welcome to Zeducation. It has been a while since we did an episode like this, and uh, we've got some catching up to do, and I've got two more meme templates that are should be good. They should be great, especially with what's going on with Obamagate and all this new evidence, all this new information that is coming out. So I expect some big things from these two meme templates today. And if you are new to episodes like this, I will give you the templates and you guys go over to Z Education. you make your memes and the winners are announced. And I actually do have a real incentive for the winners. So for the winners, anyone whose meme is depicted in this video, I want to invite you to the private Discord server that I... Let me give you let me give you a really great outline. This is coming from the Wall Street Journal and Kimberly Strassel. She says the newest Federal Bureau of Investigation documents in the case of former White House National Security Advisor Michael Flynn are stunning in themselves. But the totality of Mr. Flynn's treatment shocks the conscience. Mr. Flynn in 2017 pleaded guilty to a single count of lying to FBI agents converse, uh, about conversations he had with the Russian ambassador to the U.S. Thanks to new documents the feds belatedly turned over to his attorneys, we know now the FBI engineered this crime. Handwritten notes from former FBI counterintelligence head Bill Priestap made before the Bureau's interview of Flynn asked the following... What is our goal here? Truth, admission, or to get him to lie so we can prosecute him or get him fired? One of the frustrations, uh, Kimberly Strassel writes, of the Trump-Russia collusion narrative. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator Paul, thank you very much. Good to have you with us uh, tonight. Um, first of all, a bit of breaking news as we came to air this evening that Judge Emmett Sullivan says that he's going to open up the decision about whether or not to drop charges against General Flynn uh, to others who might want to comment on it. So this process drags on, it appears. You know, I've never heard of someone outside the government bringing charges against someone. I think that the government made a big mistake bringing these charges against General Flynn. We never should have been listening to his phone call and we shouldn't have been trying to entrap him into or create a crime. 
They never thought he committed any crime. They brought him in to try to create a crime. What a terrible travesty of justice. Uh, this needs to be done with. I thought we were already done with it, and I surely hope that we are going to finally be done with it. But the ultimate thing for us in the legislature is we should not let these abuses of power happen again. And I'm pushing hard to make sure that we take this power away from government. So what, do you, what about the...